Welcome to the Microsoft Office Specialist Academy course for Excel 2016. This course is divided into five main sections. Create and manage worksheets and workbooks. Manage data cells and ranges. Create tables. Perform operations with formulas and functions. And create charts and objects. Each section contains specific tutorials that are intended to be followed sequentially from workbook creation to printing. For this course, participants will imagine they are analyzing data on the effects of temperature change in Antarctica. In this module, you'll learn how to create a workbook, import data from a delimited text file, add a worksheet to an existing workbook, and copy and move a worksheet. These activities are the foundation for working in Excel, which we will build upon throughout this course. Excel provides tools that enable you to organize, analyze, manage, and share information. Upon opening Excel, you will see examples of templates you can use on the right. For this course, choose Blank Workbook to get started. A worksheet is a grid composed of rows, columns, and cells. Each worksheet column starts at the top of the worksheet and goes to the bottom of the worksheet and is identified by a letter. Each row starts at the left edge of the worksheet and continues to the right and is identified by a number. Each box or cell on the grid is identified by the intersection of a column and a row. Thus, the first cell in an open worksheet is A1. Our first task in this module is to import data from a delimited text file. To import a delimited text file, go to the Data tab of your Excel spreadsheet. Click Get External Data on the left, then choose From Text. Browse to locate your delimited file, in this case, Antarctica Temperature Delimited, and click Import. A text import wizard box will appear. Choose Delimited as the file type, then click Next. The second step lets you select the delimiters your data contains. For this set of data, choose Tab and click Next. The last step is to choose how you'd like your imported data to be formatted. Select General then Finish. Choose Existing Worksheet, which is selected automatically, and click OK. Your delimited text file has now been successfully imported into Excel. Let's say you need to work with several pieces of data at one time. The data you just imported are trends in surface temperatures in Antarctica over 25 years. For this project, you will also need to look at temperature details since 1980 by month. The best way to work with various data sets is by using separate worksheets. To create a new worksheet within an existing workbook, click the plus sign in the bottom left corner next to Sheet 1. You now have a clean worksheet to start using, which will be named Sheet 2. You can continue adding additional worksheets which will be named in sequential order, such as Sheet 3 and Sheet 4. It is easy to create copies of worksheets and change their order. To move or copy your spreadsheet, right-click on the sheet's name along the bottom, in this case, Sheet 1, then click Move or Copy. By default, spreadsheets are moved before the sheet name that you select. To move Sheet 1 between Sheets 2 and 3, select Sheet 3, then OK. If you have multiple Excel workbooks open, you can move the spreadsheet into a different workbook by clicking the arrow under To Book and selecting the workbook you'd like to move it to. You can also move it to a new workbook by selecting New Book. Let's add a copy of this spreadsheet to the Ground Temperature of Antarctica workbook, which you will use throughout the rest of this course. Make sure this workbook is open. Right-click on the sheet's name, then choose Move or Copy, then choose Book Ground Temperature of Antarctica. 
select Move to End and check Create a Copy. Then click OK. You can now close the delimited text file workbook. You will continue the course working from the file titled Ground Temperature of Antarctica.